snowed again last night. I tell you what, main drive belt broke. Oh, it was terrible. I'll go grab a new belt from the hardware store. Yeah, I ended up getting this car stuck. It was bad. So the last couple of days after work, I've just been spent cleaning up snow. We've got so much snow. This year, compared to other years, is probably like on normal for the average, but we've been kind of fortunate for like the last five years we've lived out here. It's been very, very, very mild as far as winters are concerned. Like we're lucky if we'd get maybe an inch to three inches and that would be a lot, maybe six inches on a, on a good day and then it'd melt off like in two days. This year, it has just been piling up and up and up and up. I mean, we're up to maybe a foot in some places for the low spot and uh, the high spot, like two and a half feet. I've got to get some parts to work on for this evening. But I got to figure out how to get past the snow. Ooh, oh. I got a flat on the touring car on the last tour we went on. got out the heavy equipment to clear the roads today. I do like all wheel drive. Driving this stuff is like super nice. All right, there's a tire assembly. I'm gonna tear it all apart. I'll show you how it all goes together. So here's the thing about these tires is that they're not like... So here's the problem with these uh, tires is that they don't, they're not like modern day tires where you have a, a tire machine, you just put them on and away you go. You have to break them down by hand and use things like these tire irons and peel the rubber off the rim. But could you imagine like getting a flat and then having to do that alongside the road in order to get going again? Cause that's, I've got a flat. Luckily I don't have to be alongside the road. I'm gonna change the tube. I want to I was just checking the tire to make sure there wasn't any trauma. Looks okay. I'll just do a tube swap, put it back together. And they got him first. That's basically the, all there is to it. So what's weird about these things too is like your normal tire will take like 35, 45 pounds is max inflation. They're not called a drop center like modern car tires. They're called clinchers. And they have a bead on either side of the rim that holds the tire in place. So it has to be pumped up to like 65 pounds in order to hold that bead in place. Any less and the tire slips and it cuts a bit the bead off. It's seven o'clock so I'm gonna go grab a burger with the guys. Kind of an unsweetened tea sort of guy. Cable blade, P7. And all the. Hey, Daddy. Hey, what's up? What you got going on? Are you excited or what? Um, this is excited. This excited? Are you excited, Yeah, why is it so exciting? What's so exciting? Thank you, I love you. <laughs> if that isn't enough to melt your heart, I don't know what it is.
I'm back home and I'm going to try to finish up that project there, which is mounting that tire back onto the car. Heater's going because it is cold. go for a drive when it warms up just a hair bit more. Driving in the snow, it's a lot of fun, especially with these things, because they do really well. Those super narrow tires, they just bite in the snow and away they go. Brakes, on the other hand, they're not good to begin with, and they don't get any better on the snow. <laughs> It's raining really hard. It's raining cats and dogs. I don't know what it is when it's snowing really hard. Maybe like snowing cotton balls. 